All right, guys, so before we even uh, take off this chain right here, we're actually gonna rotate it to uh, pretty much top dead center or pretty much as close as it can be to top dead center and also make sure the cam gears are lined up. That way when we put the new chain on, it won't be so much of a hassle to align everything. So this is how it's gonna look like. Pretty much what I just did right now was set up timing to where once I take all this off, um, everything, if I need to adjust something, everything will be very close together. And the only reason why you wanna do it like that is because you don't want the valves and the pistons touching if they're if they're off really bad. For example, if you rotate the crank and force it, you can bend one of the valves over here. So it's always good to have this set up like, a, I guess like pre-timed before you start taking everything off. That way when you put everything back on, if there's any small adjustment that needs to be made, like a, say like if you need to turn the camshafts or the crank, then you can just um, turn it slightly and it's not gonna hurt anything since it's already pretty much uh, pre-timed. Pre so, what I'm going to do now is I'm pretty much going to slowly take off these tensioners first. Tensioner one, tensioner two. So I already have this 10 mil and then that 10 mil taken off. So I'm going to follow this guide. As you can see, there's an Allen key for this one. And then over here, there's one 12 millimeter and another 12 millimeter down right here. So you need to take those off next, the guides. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, guys, so I can't get to those bolts, unfortunately, so it looks like we're going to have to drop the oil pan. So we're under the car now, and as you can see, these are the rest of the 10 millimeter bolts that we're going to be taking off all around the oil pan. After we take those off, we should be able to get take off that timing chain right there, and we'll be able to take off the uh, driver's side timing chain as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I'll sh come back and show you guys the next step. All right, so the oil pan is taken off. Take note that you do have to scrape off the old, uh, what's it called, gasket maker um, before you put the new one on. So as you can see right here, there's a 10 mil right here and a 10 mil right here and that holds this shield on. Once we have the shield off, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hit this 10 millimeter bolt right there for the oil pump wheel. And then once we have those off, we can remove the chain and then remove uh, the chain behind it. All right, so we got everything taken off. All the time chains are off. Uh, so what we're gonna do from here is pretty much make sure we are lined up over here. So as you can see, we looks like we're just off a little bit from top dead center. So what you wanna use for your reference point is this guy right here. So this right here, this guy right here has to line up with this. If it's lined up with that, that means it's good for a top dead center. So we're gonna get that to our top dead center first and then we're gonna go to the next step. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna be installing our tensioner on the right side first. So right here, that's where one bolt goes and then down here, that's where another bolt goes right there. So let's put this in real quick. Let's see if I can record this and you guys can see. So now that we have that installed, we're gonna go and install our timing chain. So we're gonna pretty much take it off here and we're gonna go from the right side first, loop it around and then bring it around. Make sure our dots are matching right here. Where you want these yellow marks to land are on these dots, okay? So these yellow marks right here, you want them to land on these orange dots, okay? And then the purple one down here, you want that purple one to land on this dot. Focus this real quick. You want that purple one to land on that dot right there in the sprocket. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what it looks like after I'm done. All right, so I just guided the chain in right now. You see how it's lined up on this orange dot, lined up on an orange dot, and then down here. So you better look at it. See down here how it's actually not lined up? That means I have to adjust it. So let's go ahead and adjust it real quick. All right, so as you can see down here, purple is on the dot. And if you follow it all the way up here, you see that this yellow is on the orange dot. And then you notice there's a little bit of slack. I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of this slack real quick. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do 
Let's get a 14 millimeter and ratchet and get it on here. And all you're gonna do is just turn it to the left just a little bit to turn the cam and it'll tighten this up. Once you do that though, once you tighten up the cam, you have to hold it really tight and then put in the last guide while you have it tight like this. Cause after that, you put on the tensioner and you have to pull it so it can lock in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and show you guys what it looks like. So again, all I did was get a 14 millimeter, turn this to the left, that way this slack right here will be tight. And now I'm holding that slack with my, my hand like this. All right guys, so this is how it's gonna look like. You're gonna have that lined up, this guy lined up, and down here, yeah, that lined up. So with that all being lined up, pull it in here, now it locks it in place. So, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but there's this guy, and there's this guy, and there's another one up here, okay? So the skinny, the skinny uh, gear is for the oil pump. The two big ones are for the actual timing chains for the cams, okay? So I just want to point that out to you guys in case one of you guys get lost or something. So for this one, let me see. This one's not too bad. All we have to do is pretty much just put it up on the top one, just like that. Then we're gonna get it around this bottom pulley, like so. Um, you might have to take it out the wheel and then put it onto the actual chain like this and then put it on. All right, so now we got our oil pump chain on. All I have to do now is get our screw up, there, up here, get our 12 millimeter screw, uh, tying the wheel down and then put our tensioner. I'll show you guys where it's at right now. So the oil pump tensioner goes, see this hook on here? See that silver piece? It hooks around that silver piece. And then where your bolt goes is right there. And then you, t uh, once you have it in here, you just bend it into place and I'll put tension. I'm gonna put tension on the chain just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it real quick and show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Right, and that's what it looks like. You see that little hook right there is on there and then that's where the 10 mil goes, just like that. Now we're on to our final uh, timing chain, which is for the passenger side. Same thing as the right side. Uh, gonna set it up, do it exact same way. And after we're done with that, uh, pretty much take off all of this stuff over here, the, the old gasket and put a new gasket maker onto that. All the new gaskets on there uh, and put everything back together. So the timing is pretty much done. Now we're gonna focus over here to take off all the old material and gaskets and whatnot and put in the new caskets over here. So we got one right here, one right here. We gotta take this guy out and then we gotta take out the uh, mainsail right here. Before you uh, start the engine, I wanted to make a quick note to you guys that you do have to prime the engine beforehand. And if you look on the screen, I have a picture uh, showing the fuse box panel on the passenger side fuse box. Uh, you're gonna be pulling the fuel pump fuse, uh, spark plug fuse, um, and then the injector fuse. You can pull all three of those fuses. Uh, so what this does is it pretty much lets you prime the oil into the engine uh, before fully starting the engine. So what this does is it lubricates everything nicely. Once you take out the fuses and have the uh, ignition coils uh, unplugged, what you're going to want to do is go into the car and start the car. And if you look at the dash, you're going to see the oil light come on. It's going to be red. What you're gonna to wanna to do is keep priming the engine until that oil light goes away. Once that oil light goes away, that means there's enough oil pressure built up within the block. So once that is done, you can go ahead and put in, put back all the fuses and the spark plug pigtails and start the car officially. And that's it, that's how you prime the engine. All right, let's go ahead and start this car up. Yep, she is good. 
So from here, pretty much just let the car idle for 10, 20 minutes, uh, check for leaks, and uh, make sure you monitor your coolant, um, make sure you burp the system correctly. If you don't know how to burp a, uh, if you don't know how to burp a cooling system, there's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do so. It's not that hard at all. Uh, but yeah guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, that's how you change a Genesis Scoot 3.8 timing chain.